Hi, and welcome to Ember in Action series, episode 3, Ember Data and HTTP Mark. So in this episode, we'll get rid of hard-coded list of books and replace it with Ember Data model. This model will make requests to server to get books data. But we do not want to develop server-side API yet, so we'll use HTTP Mark to fake server response. So let's get started. So first of all, let's go to routes, books, route where we define our books collection we hard-coded into here. So instead of this code, we'll use books, this store, find book, like this. So we use Ember Data Store. So now let's open Terminal and let's run Ember Server and see what it leads us to. Switch to Browser, load the page. And now if we go to Books, in console we'll see that we do not have model book. No surprises here. So we need to define this model. And we have two options to do that. We can do it manually, like we did before in this series. And basically that's how I prefer to do it. Or to use Ember CLI generator. So let's try out the latter option. So let's go to another terminal here. And let's generate with Ember generate model book. And that will create the book model and unit test for the book. Okay, let's go back to browser and see our changes. If we go back to books again, now we see that we're making get request to the books API. And of course, we can't find anything here. It cannot find this API endpoint. So let's define our book here. We go to model book and we're going to define three attributes on it with title ds adder. ds stands for data store. So adder by default is just a string. So we'll have title as a string, author as a string as well, and description of the book, also string. Of course, it's changed nothing. We still don't have server, but we have Ember data model and it tries to get data from server. So Ember CLI comes with HTTP mock library that creates this fake server for us. So let's go back again to terminal. And here we use Ember generate HTTP mock and then the name of the resource, in our case, books. And that will install Express and several other modules and will create server directory, which contains fake server. It will be run when we run Ember server next time. And of course, it is used only in development and testing because the whole server directory is ignored on deployment. So let's have a look. Go to server and we can see here mocks books. You can see that we have this Express and then routes. Pretty standard REST routes. So here what we are interested in get books and we respond with books collection. So basically we want here to return books. And here let's define this books collection. Let's copy and paste it in here and just indent it properly. So we're going to have three books here. Each book has ID, title, description and author attributes. So let's save it. Let's go back to terminal where our Ember server running and let's restart it. So now our fake API server is also run. So let's try it in a browser. If we click now on books, you'll see that it's still the same result, not found. And that happens because fake server creates routes under API namespace. So we need to, to make slash API slash books instead of just simple slash books. So to make it work, we need to define Ember Data Adapter explicitly and set this namespace option. So for that, we need to create an app folder. We need to create adapters folder and inside of it, application.js file. And that means that we define application adapter, which is the default adapter for the whole Ember Data application. So let's create both folder and file. And here we import data store from Ember Data. Then we export default data store rest adapter and we extend it. And now we can specify any options we need. In our case, we just need namespace option, which is API. Let's save it, go back to browser. And now if you try to click on books, you'll see the list of books. Nice. So all our books are fetched from this fake server and listed on the books page. Excellent. And that's it for this episode. If you liked it, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video and share it with your friends or follow me on Twitter.
If you want to ask any question or simply say hello, go to my blog ramzalatik.net. Thank you very much for your time and have a great day.